Hi guys, it's Mondays here and bringing back with a new tutorial on my channel. You guys asked for it, I'm going to be doing a render tutorial. So I'll be rendering out my render right now, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so this is my render, I'm just rendering it right now. Probably go into a time lapse if I go over, but basically I want to edit the render to the way I normally use um, Photoshop. So I'll render out this picture here. Um, it's basically just um, Wario from Mario Kart or whatever you want to call it, Mario World. Um, and basically I'll just be rendering this out in my Lightroom and then I'll show you how to render. I mean how to edit. <laughs> my words are completely like broken at the moment so bear with me okay. So um, yeah we'll just be rendering this out, probably take about three to four minutes and I also really want to say thank you for 1,000 subscribers. That is amazing. Can't believe we hit it. Oh, it literally took no time at all, which is amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. It's, I didn't think I was going to get 1,000 subscribers when I started off. Like, when I started this, like, graphics kind of thing, I always looked up to these graphic designers, and now I am actually friends with them which is amazing. I don't even know how I've got to this point in my life. <laughs> um, it just goes to show that like, if you put in hard work and you do this like daily, it's just so rewarding <laughs> in the end of the day. And yeah, I can't believe we're at a thousand subscribers. Here you go, here's the render. Um, but really, it's really like, I don't know. Oh, I just can't believe we're at a thousand subscribers, man. This is amazing. So we're just gonna render this out. It does look dark. I know everyone tells me that this looks dark all the time, <laughs> but I will show you how to render it. And hopefully you guys will not keep telling me how to make a Lightroom. <laughs> so yeah, here you go. This is the Lightroom now. Let me just save this. And that will call it um, new render. Woo. Okay. Let me just put a background on this because that will look horrible if I don't. Um, let me just put this up. We'll put it here and put it onto a blue. I don't know. I don't know why, but I like it like this. I need it a bit darker actually. I like it like a, di a bit grey bluey. So. <laughs> um, that is annoying though, I don't know why that is. It's not because of my Lightroom, it's just um, I left the hat layer like leaking out, so it's just a bit rubbish right now. So, and I don't know why the rig's gone like this, but anyway, this is a tutorial, it's a tutorial. So it doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna quickly take that out. This is the raw render. We're gonna quickly go into um, blending options. So everyone should know how to do blending options if you're doing graphics right now. If you don't know how to do graphics, and know how to get into this thing, then go learn. <laughs> but anyway, this is how you get into like the editing area. This is the main area to edit your renders. Um, so we're gonna right click on there, go into blending options, and this is what will pop up if you have 2015 CC for Photoshop. Um, if you don't, it'll look similar. So we're gonna do gradient overlay. Uh, I have it already set up, because. They save your settings on this um, version, which is pretty cool. Um, but anyway, the blend mode overlay, 50% opacity, and the gradient must be this one here, where it goes black to white. Um, and yeah, 90 degrees all the way up, so it looks like that. And then we want to go into inner glow and overlay, 100%. And then around, like, you see this line where the light's going in, that's where the inner glow is. You want it to have it a bit, like, a bit harsh. Like, it's like a really, th like, noticeable line. So that's why I did a 100% opacity. And then I want to go and click OK, then rasterize the layer style, then go back into blending options, and it'll all be reset. You don't want to do another gradient overlay. Um, the inner glow is what you need to do for the final step in this blending option. You want to put it to 50% opacity and then go to like 100 size. It depends really on the size of your render. 
Um, but anyway, that's how you really render this part of the um, edit, this part of the um, render. So I'll leave it at like 120. Yeah. Um, 120 to do. I really hate that line, I'm really annoyed by that, but anyway, <laughs> I have to go into Cinema 4D and fix that, so I can't be asked. Um, so if you want to do the next step, we will, we've got to click on the layer, I'll just call this render. We want to click on the render layer and control J, it'll duplicate the layer and it'll put it on top. Then we want to go into that layer and click on filter gallery and filter the filter tab at the top and I have these already saved so I'll just show you the settings. In um, the Photoshop CC 2015 they have these um, this bit here where you can actually put layers like effect layers which is pretty cool. Um, and my first layer is glowing edges this is the settings. This is normally what I use for every render because it's this big anyway and then I just slide it down into the like the banner or the thumbnail size afterwards. So this is the uh, the size and like all the brightness and smoothness and stuff. And this is the settings of the plastic wrap. Don't change the settings, just leave them how they are. Um, if they are different and they're like that, they're not like this, just change it to this then, I don't really care. <laughs> That's how I have them. I have it as a layer, it's actually really good like this. I'm really happy that Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop decided to do this kind of thing, it was really, really good. Um, but then this will come out as the second like, layer now. Then you want to go into that layer and go into overlay and then change the opacity to about 50. I have it at 50, you can do it to like 25 if you wanted to. I leave it at 50 though. Um, and then I go into the layer mask, which we'll do now. We'll put the layer mask on it. Then click on the layer mask and then go into the paintbrush then black, then you want to have like, I don't know, like a, a reasonably sized brush, not like too big, um, just because you want to get inside the render. Um, pro oh, my size is now working. <laughs> my circle is now there, it's visible. Um, and you want to add a 0% hardness and then 50% opacity, that's why I leave it at. Um, if I really want to get some like smaller areas, I'd put it as like a less, like opacity and then a smaller brush obviously. Black paint brush and we're just gonna go over the parts that we don't want in the render. We don't want it too like too like splodgy everywhere. So we're gonna just go over parts of it. I just tap, I know that you can hear like the tapping in the mic right now, I'm sorry. But this is how I do it. I just go around tapping everything, making everything not look so rubbish um, with all the splodgy paint um the what's it called that layer I put on plastic wrap or something yeah um, but yeah that's why I don't want I don't want too much plastic wrap around it because when you do overlay it just increases like the look of it it's just weird but anyway that's how I really have it it's just everywhere I guess so if you untick it um, but with the eye you just untick and tick it you can see the difference um, I might put some less over here because of the, like, like all the lines up there um, but it does help if you just untick it and tick it to look where you really need to change settings on it um, but yeah that's really neat to what you need to do to run like edit a render that's how I do it every time guys so that's really what I need to do and then um, if I really wanted to take out some shadows I could possibly go into another layer and I I don't know just put reasonably sized brush and a 50% again have a white brush and then go over the eyes or the under bit there and then go on to overlay this makes it a bit brighter um, you can also do this which is a bit more technical it gets a bit you know iffy when you do it but you can do like brightness or exposure, turn up the exposure, um, maybe, no, 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 I don't put the offset on it, no, fuck that. <laughs> um, you can put gamma correction on, I guess, um, 
and then you want to go into the layer mask and just go over it. It's literally that easy. Um, but that's how, like the site, the ways I do it. You can just put the if you click on Alt and then in between the two layers, you can just do that and it'll be on the lip. Just on this, um, it's not actually too bad like that. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but what I really want to do is just do um, the oh, what's it called? The the eyes. So I can show you what it looks like. So you can literally just do the eyes here make everything black apart from that so you can just see in there there's like a white bit um that's the eye area so then you can just change it have um the gamma correction up a bit more if you do the offset it'll make it look really retarded so i'll just leave that at zero but that's really how i do things if i think that shadows are just too strong with my rent like my render i do it like that um I might just quickly try and fix this a bit more just because I freaking hate this thing bit better <laughs> it doesn't look a bit stupid up there but anyway it just helps a bit more um, if you wanted to do the cape thing I do uh, you can let me just uh, quickly merge layers um, and if you want to do the, the cape like effects I do you want to go into the render, the actual render layer, and go into filter, liquify, and then you want to have like a small brush. You don't want it too big because if you do it too big, the whole render will just go really retarded. But um, if I did this, if I did like a bigger brush, like a thousand, <laughs> so I just leave it as a smallish brush and I just get the corners and just play around with it really it's not it's not like you know just do a squiggle there squiggle there and you're there you're done you're good you just got to play with it really um i try and get like sharp edges if you just push those two sides in it gets sharper edges it's really just messing around with this um this like thing here i use this quite a lot actually now um i sometimes use it for my text it's a quite a good tool to use if you're doing professional graphic design um, kind of stuff not even like Minecraft stuff you can it like people use this from like modeling and all that stuff um, but yeah we're just gonna do some cool little areas here let me just make it a bit wobbly over here but anyway that's literally how I do it um, sometimes I do use the smudge tool and I just like you know go in and I like a smaller brush I guess maybe a bit bigger of a strength like 70 and I just go in like that sometimes if, if I'm like running if I made my render running I do that but really if it's just the wind it'll be like that um, if I wanted to make the sword brighter, um, I go over the br the sword like that, put Alt like I did like that so it's in the layer, overlay so it's brighter, then I want to put another layer on but not on the actual layer, the render layer, and then do another one and then change the opacity to like about that, about 10% and then blur, oh, did the wrong one, blur and then Gaussian blur just so it, it spreads the shine a bit more, you don't want it too like you know, in one place, so I would just have it like a bit more out so it just spreads it a bit more, you know but yeah, that's really it, it's literally so easy guys if you guys want to see more tutorials like this be sure to put a comment down in this um, video on what I should do next. Yeah, but yeah, this is literally what I do, guys. I just go around splodging things, and if I like it, I like it. Um, and it's not that, that like, it's really not that hard. <laughs> and yeah, that's really it. I'm just going to quickly put the actual render. Um, so this is what it looked like um, without the white crap on that side 
So there to there. Mm. Damn. Oh damn. And let me just um merge these bad boys together. Um so yeah, that's really what it I do guys. Um if you want to see more of these tutorials, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and comment on what I should do for my next tutorial. So yeah, that's really it guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, probably at to speed up, maybe today or tomorrow. So yeah, be looking out for that. And yeah, goodbye.